Once we have a general idea of what, how we want to tailor our robot to fit our strategy, we start sketching out ideas of the various aspects of our robot, such as the base and any mechanisms that we will add later, so that we can get an idea of how they will look. After deciding on a design, we translate our drawings into CAD software using Creo, where we can see any potential flaws in our design. We use our finalized CAD drawing to construct our robot for testing for competition. Our drive system is built to quickly and easily maneuver the goals around the field while also not allowing enemy teams to get in our way. We use a 1 to 1 gear ratio on our drive system to utilize the full force of our motors while still maintaining a very fast speed. Our robot is built so that all parts are easily accessible, all the way down to the orientation of our screws. This allows us to keep everything in prime condition so we prevent anything from breaking. We've based our autonomous on finding the location of the IR. We have two different programs, one that goes off the ramp and one that starts in the parking zone, both of which can determine what position the center goal is in. Encoders are absolutely essential for every program that we have. We also have reset programs for the end of the match, where we can test anything that may need to be fixed up and bring everything back to their starting positions without ruining any of the hardware. When it comes to our strategy in-game, we are aiming to score wolf balls in the 60 and 90 centimeter goals. It is imperative that we are able to grab the goals and drag them up the ramp. During Autonomous, we release the balls from the center goal and proceed to work with our alliance partner to score these balls during the game. Depending on what our alliance partner feels more comfortable with, we will either drag two goals up the ramp and park there, or drag a goal into the parking zone along with our robot. Not counting what we score during the driver control period, we should be able to score a solid 140 points during Autonomous and Endgame. For the past few years, we've been selling newspapers at the Tropicana Field in order to raise money for the team. Furthermore, we've also applied for multiple grants each year, such as grants from Rockwell Collins, PTC, and Raytheon slash TBTA. This year, we also wrote a grant for a 3D printer and were able to receive one. The Illuminati has the ability to collaborate with other students and raise awareness for STEM throughout the Pinellas County community. To facilitate this outreach, we employ the use of Facebook, the school's daily television program, and the LHS newspaper. We also frequently offer our mentorship to other league teams such as CCC and Admiral Farragut. <laughs>